Did you guys have a hard time sleeping last night? Because yeah. we're on, on L.A. time. Yeah. You had a hard time sleeping? Oh, yeah. So yeah. hard. What'd you do? Would you do anything? I yelled at people online. Okay. <laughs> What's the beef? Let's, let's skip it. What's your beef? I, I forced myself to stay up until like 3 a.m. just yelping places I wanted to eat at. When I, when, I, when I got up. I didn't have to force myself because there were two ladies upstairs on the balcony talking all night long. Wait, can you, let me, let, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. Do you mind if I disrupt you for a second? <laughs> I, I can't even, I can't even believe my, myself. Why do I? But no, I just want to put the wheels in motion because I have a friend here that I want to, I want to introduce people to. Uh, uh, Aaron, if you want uh, uh, to start making your clumsy way to uh, whatever circuitous path you can. To Aaron get... McGathy, everybody. No, I'm trying, I'm trying, it's trying. a lie. We're, it's a lie. It's a trick. Sorry. Sorry. I'm trying. We're sorry. I fell for it myself. What a I'm weird like, oh, lie. To yeah, tell it's me. a weird like, thing. Uh, obviously, everyone would believe that. Oh, his ex-wife is here. We miss her. That was an awful I, joke. I felt I it felt It was great for everybody but you. <laughs> What's that? Help. What? Help, please. Help? Yeah, oh. Brother, Wait, someone needs hey, help. Hey, can we get someone? Is there someone someone needs help? Call 911 or something? Is he hurt? Is he He needs help. He needs medical help. Oh shit. Can we get a uh, a doctor? Can we can we get an ambulance here? Do we have any uh, medical team out here? Was he choking? All right. Does he need water? Oh, is there, no, it's okay. For, uh, you, did, you did absolutely the right thing. Thank you for, for yeah. throwing up a It sounds like a, he's a getting faint. Um, all right, awesome. Well, We're getting him some air. His, okay, great. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thanks what, for pulling together, everybody. We appreciate it. Look yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> You're killing people. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your vending machine gave him the vapors. <laughs> he probably got excited. I'm not gonna, we're not going to make jokes about what happened. Like, that's not the joke area for us right now. We're going to wait until tomorrow when we can make all the jokes we want. Dan. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, no, uh, anyway, that, the, so, the, the, yeah, Aaron, is Aaron, uh... Is that him? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, hey, have yeah. you, have you guys Let's ever, introduce uh, him. Have a stool. Have a stool. Have you guys ever heard of the podcast Lore? Oh, awesome. awesome. This is Aaron Minky, everybody. Hi. Thanks for, thanks for, thank you. I'm such a big fan. You don't know who I am, but I'm a big fan. I love this shit. Holy shit. Yeah, for those who don't know, Laura is a very popular podcast. It's, uh, you know, Aaron's kind of a self-starter, and it's like, uh, it's lore. It's like, uh, which I would describe as the crossroads between legend and historical fact, right? Like, like it's like, oh, for every, for every vampire that we hear exists, there's like a reason why we heard vampires exist, which go goes back to some actual historical thing, and that's what lore is. Right. That's a pretty good description. Yeah. yeah. So I discuss football and politics most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but, you know, and I think, I think particularly, like, I would say the, the real reason for the success is that you take it very seriously. You're a, you're a good researcher and you're a good, you're a good performer, too. Like, you, you're reading your own stuff. You kind of, you kind of, to me, you embody why podcasting is better than uh, other media at, at, at its best. It's because there's an authenticity in, in addition to the professionalism. You're not just a mannequin that was, like... That would be hot, but but uh, that was that was like that was carved out by the system's needs. So it's like, oh, he's really good at making people believe him. So he's cast behind this desk, and then these people that are good at writing things, and then these people are good at shooting things. You're a one-man team that like you're interested in this stuff, and then you you are who you are, and your personality like exudes. So we can trust you and listen to you talk about Loch Ness and vampires and werewolves and 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 magic uh, uh, beans. <laughs> 
And uh, we the, made... We, they're the magic fruit. <laughs> we... we <laughs> We, we, we made friends online because I, because I tweeted that, uh, that after listening to your podcast a lot, and I'm going to have Aaron like read you so that people aren't familiar with him. I'm going to have him do a cold read of one of his lore intros openings. <laughs> Which I just feel have a certain style to them, and, and to the point where I, like, I, I, I tweeted that after I make love to, to Cody, um, I, I, I like to just finish by saying, I'm Aaron Mankey. And, and let me say, Cody has confirmed this is true. <laughs> and, and then you tweeted back and, and were like clearly unoffended by it and, uh, right. and, and we became fast friends. We met out for drinks and, uh, and, uh, and we, like, we like each other's jibs. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like, like, what, uh, yeah, I'm not good at, uh, at anything. Uh, like, uh, uh. but but do you want to? Like, let's just give him a taste of this is this is this is Aaron doing a live cold read of kind of like what he does at the top of each of his episodes. You've got one pulled up. What's the text? And you, you, Jeff, you've got some of the music. I've got some of your music here. That's sweet. Yeah. Do you, do you make, want, sure, make sure to eat that mic, brother. Yeah, get that mic right up close. Do you want, uh, this do you, is Boston. Do you, they don't fucking. Do you, do you want me to start? start Can I with get the music? a lapel mic, please? And a suit jacket? <laughs> and a glass of uh, Glenlivet 20. Chablis. <laughs> yes. uh, do you want me the music to, to begin? Please. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> On June 24th, 1408. A French court sentenced a murderer to death by execution. She had entered the home of a neighbor and found a four-month-old child inside, alone and unattended. Although she never disclosed her reason for doing so, she killed the child right there in the house. After her trial, she was moved to the prison to be held until her execution. The others who were imprisoned there most certainly jeered at her. They called her names. Yes, they were hardened criminals, but to kill a child, even they were appalled. The prison, however, treated her with the same, as the same as those men charged. Charged her family the same daily rate for her meals. Equality was a rare thing for her, you see. On July 17th, she was guided to the platform and a rope was placed around her neck. A crowd was most likely gathered that day to watch the spectacle. Like the criminals inside the prison, they too had mocked her and shouted insults. But then, after the trap door snapped open, she plummeted to her death. It was over. History is full of these stories. A criminal goes to trial and justice wins the day. What was odd about that trial in 1408, though, was the suspect. Because she wasn't a local woman or even a relative of the child she killed. She wasn't even human, you see. She was a pig. Literally, a farm animal, tried in the court of law and sentenced to be put to death and then executed on the gallows three weeks later. <laughs> Say it. Say it. Better eight than never. <laughs> During the long history of criminal trials, spanning cultures and centuries, all manner of oddities have entered the courtroom. As unusual as it might sound to put livestock on trial, humans have been guilty of worse. You see, sometimes even the dead get to testify. I'm Aaron Mankey, and this is Harmontown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the podcasting equivalent of having like Skrillex up here. You know, <laughs> it's like wow, he really does just do it that way. I thought you'd be like, well, he needs seventy takes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I th you paused, and we thought you were going to say, "I'm Aaron Menke," and you said, "Better eight than never." 
that wasn't in the original, was it? No. Okay, all right. No. Well, just checking. Just because it would have worked there. It <laughs> that would have been great. It would have been yeah. great in there. I would have been it okay no with that. no sense on that poster. Do you want me to go back and edit that audio? Like, <laughs> would you please? For the old episode? Would you please? I, do you, do you, would do you, you please? Do you think back in 1408 they were frugal enough and thrifty enough that they ate that pig? Or do you, do you not eat a condemned peg, a pig? <laughs> I'm going to guess they ate it. Yeah. I mean, I want very badly to be able to to to, to do this because I, I like most fans of podcasts. Like we listen, we listen to you, and then we like I, I want to do I want to do what you do, and I don't know if I but I, and I've been thinking like, well, Jeff has the music, and I want to try doing it, but but like I don't know how to like like uh, like I just want to try one. You just you just play the play the music and uh, give me a will you give me give me a topic to give me a or what like a, give him give him some folklore to riff on. Yeah. I don't know if we're local enough for that. I do Salem witch trials. I witch trials. Yeah. So then I have to. I, so what I've learned from you is I have to back up three, three right. like Transitions. boxes from Salem witch trials or even witches. <laughs> so uh, okay. Right. So. so we're gonna start off by talking about the history of ventriloquist. Right, 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 right. And right, then yeah. we'll work our way up to. Yeah. yeah. All right, you ready? You yeah. ready then? Yeah. What? Here we go. In 1981, Arnold Palmer was at the top of the charts. He loved music, but what he really loved was socks. Socks made of cotton. And Arnold Palmer could only buy those socks in one store. You see, cotton was scarce and socks being made from them were scarcer. <laughs> so when Arnold Palmer walked into the Sears that day, what he didn't know, well, is that he'd be starting on fire. The fluorescent lights, due to faulty wiring in the section above the men's socks, caught fire. <laughs> and fell on his head, <laughs> bursting him into flames and ending the career of a celebrated musician. You see, America burns what it loves. <laughs> Whether it's Michael Jackson or a witch. Well, what is a witch? And where does a witch go if a witch doesn't know? <laughs> when I think about witches, I think about Salem, the capital of witches, but not a good place for them to live. You see, in Salem, as far back as 1492, These witches, far from sailing the ocean blue, <laughs> were subjected to the opposite of oceans. Fire. The same fire that burnt Arnold Palmer and Michael Jackson, and eventually, the Loch Ness Monster. But that cold day in 1492, Salem was about to learn that what goes around burns around. <laughs> I'm Aaron Mankey, and this is Lore. I have a couple follow-up questions. I, think I was about thinking that. of Robert Palmer, by the way. Robert Palmer would Please. be this. <laughs> not that it matters. Arnold, 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 Arnold Palmer. Palmer. People forget about the. Uh, not only was Arnie a great golfer, but he had he had some great hits in the early Simply 80s. irresistible. Remember that video where he's got the golf club and the girls with the lipstick. Arnold. She's so fat. She got a bogey on the back nine. <laughs> She's so fine, there's iced tea in her lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold so your, so your podcast, you, you like go, okay, so there's these monsters and stuff, and this is 
This is how you get rid of them? I mean, is that part of it? <laughs> like no. If I, like if I, but, but come on. Like, like if, if a I, Dracula shows up. Yeah, if a Dracula showed up, you could say, well, actually, garlic doesn't work on Dracula. It only works on a uh, Boris Karloff. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really the Neil deGrasse Tyson of, of folklore. That's not what I do. <laughs> Who is, in your opinion, <laughs> today in the world? <laughs> No, no, like, but you know, uh, this, I'm, 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 I haven't heard of this until now, so I'm gonna check it out. Well, it's here's awesome. your, 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 Rob, because you're not, you know, you're, you're more of a, uh, you know, you're, you're not Careful. as much of a dog. He's more of a visual guy. Uh, you'd be happy to know he's, uh, he's working on his second season of the hit show Lore, based on his podcast, and that there's a season out. What is it, Amazon? Yeah, Amazon. You can watch it. Oh, okay, even better. You can watch it come to life. And right. uh, Robert Patrick's in one. You remember him from The Terminator. Yeah. He's so stupid, you have to trick him into smart stuff. Robert Patrick? <laughs> Robert Patrick is stupid? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but Aaron, uh, is, are you from Boston? Is that why? No, no, I grew up in the Midwest. Okay. Yeah. Why, why, why do you have a relationship with the Wilbur? I remember because you saw that I was performing here, and you're like, hey, I'm going to be there. And I'm... The folks that run the Wilbur have a tour company for folks like us. Oh, okay. And they represent me in book, book venues. I played here a year and a half ago. Did you ever see the Blue Man Group here? <laughs> How would you get rid of a Blue Man? Pack your bags. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. What, what, what gets rid of a blue man? <laughs> you, you what's, have, the, what, what's the origin of the blue ma- man? It's a, you, you make a circle of salt, right? And, I, and it stops them. Okay, like okay. Slugs. All right. Spencer, okay. will you do a lore intro about the blue man group? If it's bad, sure. Somebody help me out. Where, where to Let's go? talk about immigration. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it know? drives me nuts is when somebody will like they'll post like a picture and it'll go it'll be like a picture of a pretty white girl and it'll say like separated from her family when an immigrant shot her and you go like okay like okay so you care about people so so let's. Uh, Let's 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 pass a bunch of sweeping legislation to protect people. I'm sure you're into all of those. And then and then and then they go, well, contrary to what you might think, I'm not just some trailer trash. I do have opinions about. It. I, was, I was like, why are we having a grown-up conversation that you crashed with your fucking photo of somebody saying like, ooh, a brown person shot. Like, there's like people, there's like people just post memes and then and then they're like they're like, look at this, oogity boogity, and and you're. And, it's like a dead rat they bring in from the backyard, and then you're supposed to dim the lights and pour some wine and talk to them like adults. Like, like. Is that is that how you get rid of a blue man? Can no. you get a blue rat? No? no. Okay, no, but, but what? Keep looking. I, you're okay, but get what? This what could I get rid of with, with that spell? <laughs> I think I'm not understanding the show yet. But it's well. <laughs> still. It's not. It's about um, actual shit, you asshole. <laughs> The Blue Man Group exists. I've seen commercials. Yeah, so, so name something. Dickhead! Name something that doesn't exist. Like, Telling him that I'm stupid with the Robert Patrick side mouth? You didn't think I saw that? You're talking into a microphone, you dipshit. I'm glad I came. That is the most twisted attack on anyone ever. I'm glad I'm here. Yeah. You know what? You deserve me, me being in your life. It couldn't have happened to a better person. So I found what it's like to be on Twitter right, right here. Yeah. Yeah. 